Hello fellow kick.com comrades, today I'm going to show you how you can get your viewers to use TTS on your kick.com livestream, just like this. Balls, 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 balls. So the first thing you do, go to livebot.app. On livebot, simply scroll down and go to your dashboard. The first time that you use this bot, you will need to register and validate your channel. Some people have been having issues with that recently, so I have showcased it and explained it in this video right here. You can go and watch it in case you run into any issues, but as far as the validation goes, it is pretty self-explanatory. However, as of making this video, they did acknowledge this as an official issue and are currently encouraging you in their Discord to open a ticket, including your kick username and your kick email address. I will be including the link to the kick discord in the pinned comment underneath this video. On the live post dashboard, go down to modules and click on TTS. By default, this is how it's going to look like. In the message pattern, if you type in the special percentage symbol, you can choose how would you like the message to sound. If you include the user who sent the message, it's going to say out loud the username of the person who has sent it. If you just leave it to message sent by the user, it's only going to read out the contents of the message itself. You can also include custom text that will be included every time someone uses the command. For example, new TTS message from user who sent the message, which is the username is message test new tts message from libbot is you are a really beautiful person thank you very much lifebot very much appreciated i personally just like to leave it as message itself that way it only reads out the message without anything around it so it goes straight to the point what you can configure next is the cost of the message this is basically how many points is going to cost anyone if they use this command so basically with lifebot added to your channel all of your viewers are getting points for watching to stream. This is called loyalty points. You can configure in the settings tab how many points people are getting and how frequently. There is also this store that you can set up where people can purchase different items from you. There is also a store that you can set up. There is also a store that you can set up where your viewers can purchase different things from you. I am planning to make a whole tutorial video dedicated to all of the different features of Livebot because there is just so many. However, right now they are having some server scaling issues because of the huge influx of streamers moving to Kick. So some of the features are not properly working. So I'm waiting until it gets into a little bit more of a stable environment. Once again, if you are having issues with any of the features, sometimes you just need to try again later or try multiple times and eventually it is going to work. If you leave the cost at zero, that means that anyone can use the command at any time without any restrictions. You can choose the voice in which you would like the messages to be read. Right now you can choose between three different English voices and surprisingly, one Slovak voice. You are a really beautiful person. So a little shout out to Lifebus developers. I don't know if some of you are Slovak, but uh, I am Slovak personally, so this was a pretty interesting surprise. By the way, fuck this country. They've also got a cool feature where you can adjust the voice rate. This basically changes how quickly the message is read. You are a really beautiful person. You can change the pitch. You are a really beautiful person. And of course, adjust the volume, just so you don't get your ears blasted every time someone plays this. After changing all of the settings, make sure to hit the save button and go up here to turn on the module. This is very important because without it, it will not work. Once you have customized all of the settings to your liking, you can simply copy the stream element URL. In your OBS, click on the plus button right here add a browser source and name it TTS. Hit OK. As the URL paste into link that you have copied, it doesn't matter what hidden head you give it, just make sure to hit the OK button. TTS is no enabled. It will give you a voice confirmation saying that it's enabled and you don't have to worry where you put this onto screen because it doesn't have any visual effects at all. I like to put it in the corner and lock it. This way it's not going to be messy or take up space on your screen when you try to move other elements. And now, every time someone posts the command, is going to send it into chat. As you have heard, it said it multiple times for me. That is because I have this stream open on multiple pages, but it's only going to do it once for you. 
and this my friends is how you set up TTS for your kick livestream. Right now this is the only way that you can make it happen, probably other ways will become available in the future and as I was mentioning you just have to be patient with the bot, sometimes it doesn't work perfectly or doesn't work at all because of the huge load on the servers but they are working as hard as they can to fix it. I will also be posting some useless links in the pinned comment underneath the video, if you would like you can check that out, so with that in mind, follow Vortexial on kick.com Vortexial and until next time, I kiss you. Mm -hmm.